In this section, we're going to talk about proportional versus non-proportional relationships. And so first we need to know what that means. So if the ratio or rates, remember rates is a fancy way to say ratio, but two different quantities. If the ratio or rates of two quantities are equal, if they are the same, then the quantities are proportional. If the ratios or rates of two quantities are not equal, not equal, then the quantities are non-proportional. All right, so that seems easy enough. So, for example, if we look at this, Eric and Lucy ran 20 minutes each on the treadmill at the gym. The table shows the number of calories each has burned after five-minute intervals. Complete each table and determine the type of relationship. So, here, we're going to compare calories to minutes because calories they burned after five minutes. So, we want per one minute, right? We want to find out how many are in one minute. So we would divide 70 divided by five and it would be 14 calories per minute. 140 divided by 10 is 14 calories per minute. 210 divided by 15 is 14 calories per minute. And 280 divided by 20 is 14 calories per minute. Let's look at Lucy. If I divide by Lucy, 45 calories per minute, 45 divided by five, would be nine calories per minute. 90 divided by 10 is nine calories per minute. 120 divided by 15 is eight calories per minute. And 180 divided by 20 is nine calories per minute. So the calories burned by Eric is proportional to the time because every ratio is equal. 14, 14, 14, 14. The calories burned by Lucy is non-proportional to the timeline because the ratio, because the ratio of 120 to 15 is not equal to the others. So this is important in your laziness. Do not get lazy. If you go through this and only do the first two and see that they're nine, then you're gonna think it's proportional. You have to go through all of the options. So same thing here, determine whether um, they're proportional or not, is um, buses, uh, how many, determine the, represent, okay, so the number of buses per student, okay? So that's what we want to compare, buses per student. So, um, or excuse me, students per bus, that doesn't make sense. How many students are on a bus? So students to bus, 21 over one, 24 over one is 24. 45 divided by two is 22.5. 28 divided by three is 26. And 100 divided by four is 25. So this would be 24 students per bus, 22.5 students per bus, 26 and 25, not proportional because they're not equal. Okay, so remember we're comparing costs to units, so it's always going to be $36 per hour, 72 per hour. So 36 divided by 4 is 9, 72 divided by 8 is 9, 90 divided by 10 is 9, 135 divided by 15 is 9. So yes, it's proportional, but look, I need what is the constant rate? Your constant rate is $9 per hour. Okay, so that's the constant rate. All right, um, and then of course we can do more examples, but for the sake of time, and the bell's gonna ring, let's go on to this one, to number seven. Now if we wanna reverse it and complete the table, how do we do that? Well, it says if the following tables represent a proportional relationship, so we know it's gonna be the same, and then we need to complete the table. So if Ben earns eight fifty per hour bagging groceries at the store, he has 850 per one hour. Well, now I need to find out how many are in four hours. So all I'm gonna do here is I am going to multiply by four times 850, and that's $34. So, and this is kind of what it would look like, how you would set it up. You can set it up as equivalent fractions, or you can just know that you take 850 and multiply it by 4, and then 850 times 8 would be 68, 850 times 10 is 85, and 850 times 14 is 119. So, these are proportional relationships, okay? If you have questions, come see me.